Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 4, and this may or may not be the last segment of the, um, of the, uh, series, I don't know, we'll see. This Dr. Wily fight can be a real pain in the ass. The first part is easy as hell, but at, but the second part is a bitch. Oh, I'm telling you. This part is so easy, like, a child could do it. Well, most people that do it are children, but, you know, beside the point. Jeez. So probably children can do it better than adults can, because adults just won't do it, that's why. That's why it sucks to be an adult. I'm never growing up, I tell ya. Be just like the Toys R Us commercial. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Alright. Oh, oh, man, that was gratuitous. And what you can do if you want is hide down here and he won't be able to get you, but I'm telling you, once you step out in front, you're done for. Well, yeah, yeah, see. And you gotta release that. The only weapon... Uh, let me start over. The only weapon that works on him that I know of is the Mega Buster, but you have to do it right at the top of your jump. And see, I think mean, I missed both of those times. Shit. <laughs> if I don't use all five of my energy tanks in this fight, I would be surprised, because I will probably use five of them. Maybe four. Like I was saying earlier, you can get down here where he can't get to you, and maybe... No, that wouldn't work. <laughs> Never mind, I thought I maybe I found a secret. Now you can run all the way to the other side. Well, you don't do that. Dang it. Look at that. Hey, we actually got a hit in on him. It's a miracle. But you gotta watch what you're doing really closely because I, every miss is another chance for him to hit you and swing the odds back in his favor, although I guess you might say they're already heavily swayed that way. I guess it's not a bad idea to try to lure him back over here so that his fireballs have a longer way to travel, thus you have more time to react. Because most of the time he'll shoot him straight out like that, but then he does that diagonal thing, you know. You really just gotta watch where you're shooting. Shit, I thought I had it that time. I mean, they're... Ugh, they're, they're come, they come out so close together, you can't possibly avoid them all. Okay, here we go. This is energy tank number three now. <sighs> like I said, it's a bitch, let me tell you. Because destiny is a fickle bitch. Oh, come on. Jeez, back off a little bit. Dude, I keep missing. Ugh, I don't know what to get more pissed off at, him or me. Ugh. This is four energy tanks. I didn't get a single hit on him, and I lost all that energy. An entire bar of energy, and I didn't even get a single hit on him. Maybe I got one. Oh, come on! Quit doing them so close together, just back off a little bit. You bastard. Alright, I'm launching an all-out offensive here. Here we go. That's right. That's right. Huh, I gotcha. And I still had one energy tank left so you can kiss my ass. But he got away. So that's not good. He usually does get away after you fight him the first time, though, doesn't he? I mean, it's not like we're not used to this. This is Mega Man, after all. I don't know if I'm going to have time to get this all in one video. I sure as hell don't want to be fast-forwarding it. But of course, if I have to record it all at once and then just split it like I always do, I'll just do that. I don't think I'll be fast-forwarding any of this because it's too important. I really wish they gave some weapon healings here, like refillings. Because you're going to need either the ring shot or the pharaoh shot to beat this boss. And it's a pretty, a pretty good idea to have them both full. What you can do is go back and forth in this hallway and grind off of these guys. And that is something that you can do. These guys ain't dropping for shit, though. They probably have droppings in real life, but uh, well, I don't think I have enough here. Well, no, don't use it on them. Jeez. All I need is one good drop to fill up a pharaoh shot. The ring's not going to do much to him, but if you run out of ring and pharaoh, well, you're screwed. So, but I don't want to be sitting here grinding in this video, so... I'll tell you what, I'll actually just grind for a little bit, and I'll come back and meet you when I'm done. I'm telling you, I went down that hallway four times, all the way to one end and the other, and this is all the refill I got right here. They dropped like three small weapon recharges. Man, what a crock of crap. Okay, so the idea here, well, is basically that. Charge up, and when you find out where he is, just go over to him. Since the Pharaoh shot will hover over you as you're charging it up. So you can use it to your advantage to... Uh, he's gonna kill me. I don't need him to be killing me, though. Ugh! No! Give me a game over, please. Give me a game over. No, don't give me a game over. 
Because if you don't give me a game over, I have to start with lower weapon charges than I had before. And these guys don't drop for shit, so I... <laughs> I'm surprised that Pharaoh Shot didn't get consumed faster. Because, uh... <laughs> I don't believe these guys are not dropping anything. This is... <sighs> don't at least... Uh... Jeez, if you're gonna put enemies at the end of grind, I'll go. Don't let me stand here for half hour. There we go. See, now that's all you had to do. What were the odds of that? Well, apparently they were 164. Is that about how many I had to kill? No, don't do that. Watch what you're doing now. Okay. Like I said, if you don't have Pharaoh Shot, you gotta use rings. But this guy's really tough, because you never know where he's gonna show up. And the fireballs, obviously, are gonna be problematic. It won't consume energy if you just leave it there, though. It only consumes energy when it actually hits him, so... So you can walk around as long as you want, until you actually get him. Well, that didn't work out too well. There you go, just like that. Yeah, some re for some reason I was thinking that used more energy than it does. But that shit took off like a quarter of his energy there. It's worth it to take a hit if you can get one in on him. You'll actually do more damage to him than he will to you. So... This music is cool too here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use an energy tank because I ain't doing this again. I ain't dying again, man. Jeez, did that hit him twice? Haha. Uh -huh. You're a goner. You are so gone, it's not even funny. It's like, how long gone are you gonna be, I tell ya. Oh, what now? Jeez, and they're doing your eyebrows as you swing behind the door. That's funny. Obviously paving the way for a sequel. Dude, what is the microphone doing way up there? You're not going to be able to hear me. Every now and then I have these episodes where my commentary is coming out really quiet like that. And I think it's because the microphone isn't in the right spot or something. Right there, it was right in front of my nose. Like, if I if I had a booger hanging out of my nose, it'd be right on the microphone right now. Ha ha, you're dead. You and Mr. Cossack must have built your castles pretty close together. Whoa! Now that's cool. And that's basically it. Then you ride the train home, just like always. So we get to watch the infamous credit sequence, which you always get to see at the end of these. Bamboo. What the heck kind of a name is that? Yesterday I watched Karate Kid 2. That's a good movie. <laughs> Kumiko is awesome. You know what's weird is that Kumiko and Yukie actually never have a conversation in that movie. At least I don't think they do. I think they look at each other a couple times, like after Mr. Miyagi says, We get Chinese food come, or something. No, that, did, that didn't sound right at all. You have to see the movie for that to make sense. He's saying come, as in, you know, telling Daniel to come with him. I'm up to 1016, are we gonna get the ending in time? I don't know. I mean, well, we're going through the ending now, what do you mean get the ending in time? Jeez. This was another shot that inspired me to create, you know, seeing the city in peace now after seeing it exploding at the beginning, so... It all just kinda, there's a rewarding feeling when you save the city and you look out look out on it and say, hey, that's cool. 1045! Please don't make me split this into two videos, please! Well, it's too late now, shoot, I might as well just keep talking. Hey, we're back to the mountains again. Ojalin and Bon Bon? Who the hell is Bon Bon? Wow, can you imagine having a name like that? And that's it, 11 minutes. We're screwed. Oh, that's right, though. I'm gonna take that grinding out. Yeah. So we got about two minutes to go, actually. Okay, we're good. Kiro Chan. There's Roll right there. That other girl was Dr. Cossack's daughter, I think. And that's it right there. That's the end. Oh, and then you got a staff. Yeah, of course. How could we forget this? Bright Man, number 25. Yeah, well, starting with Mega Man 3, they started giving all the robots numbers. And they allowed enough so that there could be numbers for all the first robots. So they started with like 16, I guess it was, or 15. And I don't remember which one was which number from 3, but this one shows you like, you know, number 27 drill in now. These are like the, the uh, fourth set of eight robots, except for the first one, which had six robots, which totally messes up the numbers. Like in your head. You know, at least if they all had 8, then you could remember that 24 to 32 was part 4, and 16 to 24 was part 3, and so on and so forth. But, whatever. Looks like they each had an individual designer, maybe somebody that they were based on. That would be cool. If that, that being the case, it makes you wonder who Tomahawk Man was based on. Oh, no. There goes my phone. 
number is not provided, though. So I think I'm just not gonna answer it because we, I don't want to answer anything mean. Okay, it's done. It stopped ringing now. Oh, we got all these credits to go. We are gonna go over 11 minutes, even with me taking that grinding out, man. Ugh. Yeah, this has turned out really terrible. But anyway, okay, yeah, so that's the end of my Mega Man 4 LP. I might just go ahead and do Mega Man 5. I mean, what the hell? I don't know, man. I'm having fun here doing this. I might go back and do Mega Man 3. Well, I'm, I might just go back and start with part 1. I don't even, I don't even know. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. But such is the joy of free will. Capcom! Thank you there, Flip Top. And that's it. This has been Let's Play Mega Man 4. And I am Nintendo Capri Sun. Thank you for watching. Peace the fuck out.